and they had to make it very quick as when the referee blew, when the umpire blows a whistle, cut it doesn't matter where you are, you have to give the game has to continue. Wing attack for St. Lucia. Nice pass across to the goal defender. Obstruction goal shooter. Goal attack. Obstruction goal attack. St. Lucia the ball. Let's see if she find a player. Yes. Contact center Trinidad. A lot of contacts in the middle of the St. Lucia. Ball nice, nice. You recover very nicely. And she has the opportunity to lob the ball for her. And that's a nice jump there by the Trinidad and Tobago. Goalkeeper there, really doing a fine job there. Jumping ability cutter. She has a lot of jumping ability cutter. And really using a height there to prevent that ball from coming through. Good defending by Trinidad. Yes, the, the goalkeeper there, Zin Gray, really preventing the goal shooter from getting the ball and here again she jumps she touches the ball this time the goal shooter will attempt and will score so St. Lucia now gets another goal they move on to 5 14 5 in favor of Trinidad and Tobago and I can tell you the umpires they really call the game that anyone who does not know the game they can quickly learn because the umpires Makiba Clark and Kaffee and Williams Gabriel they really shout out the, the calls and uh, it's very easy to, to pick, pick up, up exactly what is happening contact obstruction whatever the case is penalty pass and it's really they let you know what is happening Trinidad and Tobago on the attack for the goal defense gives it to their wing defense gives a nice pass to center and there is a a penalty pass she gets there to the goal shooter who will attempt a shot and she will convert. So one more to Trinidad and Tobago. They move on by 1 to 15. St. Lucia 5. And uh, mounting an attack very swiftly there as a penalty pass once again in favor of Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago with the ball. And... Uh, some footwork issues there on that occasion. Maya King, the goalkeeper for St. Lucia, gives it. And in fact, footwork once again the call. And it will be Trinidad and Tobago's ball. So, pass, penalty, footwork. footwork once again. So, footwork seems to be an issue there. As the wing defense for St. Lucia, again another call. And this time, it is against... St. Lucia, so Trinidad and Tobago will have the ball. The ball given there to their goal attack. Goal attack trying to get to the tall goal shooter. She has a chance to convert and she does exactly that. One more to Trinidad and Tobago. 16 to Trinidad and Tobago. 5 to St. Lucia. St. Lucia with the center pass. Gives it to the wing defense. And there is a penalty pass against Trinidad and Tobago. So it will be the wing attack for St. Lucia, well intercepted there by Trinidad and Tobago. And the, the goal attack for Trinidad and Tobago feels to hold on. Another interception, very bit, very loose play there by St. Lucia. And uh, Trinidad and Tobago trying to seize the opportunity to score once again. Yes, and, and, and footwork. And St. Lucia with the ball, just so wrong there, 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 there. Nice pass across, and she... And she stepped to the wrong area, and, and that's the area only belongs to the goal attack, the goal yes, shooter. she had to get rid of the ball. That's why uh, it looked strange to many, but uh, she couldn't enter the, the, the goal circle, and thereby had a, having to throw the ball away, and she threw it out of court for a throw in from the sideline but play continues we have 16 to Trinidad and Tobago we are in the third quarter of this the second match the third match is the big one big one Barbados versus Dominica to take place a bit later and the crowd is already starting to get their act together they are beginning to come in a bit of a little you will hear the drums you will see the flags you can see Sir Charles already positioned to <laughs> do his thing wing defense 
Gives it to goal attack. Nice catch there. Lob there to the goal shooter. She will attempt. Misses. And the goalkeeper, credit to her, has really put her hands up and really preventing a clear sight of the by, of the goal uh, by the goal shooter of St. Lucia. And, and well, you have the advantage because you, you, have, you have to see about three feet catch away from the player. So, and again, St. Lucia... So it's an obstruction, so she will have a clear shot and she can Here's the ball, it looks like a pass. And again, the goal shooter misses, shoots again, and this time she converts. So, St. Lucia finally gets in the ball to go in the goal. And it's 6-6 six. Six to St. Lucia, 16. And a time out taken and a substitute been made, the goal defense. For Trinidad, there is a change in that personnel, and uh, let's see what will happen. 16 6 Trinidad and Tobago. Wing defense for St. Lucia gives it to the center. Clearly, they have put down Ferdinand. Ferdinand, usually the one playing center for St. Lucia. For, for, yes, for St. Lucia, Ferdinand, but she isn't playing presently. There has been change in personnel. The goal attack for St. Lucia. There is a, a penalty pass. So the goal attack will have us will step in. It's a clear attempt there. She shoots and she scores. So one more to St. Lucia. Seven now to St. Lucia. 16 to Trinidad and Tobago. Center pass to St. Lucia. And that's the end of the third quarter. And quarter three, that is control. The goal defender to the goal attack. The goal attack coming very far for to receive that ball. Nice pass to the center. Center across. To back again. Two to wing attack. Wing attack. Some form of obstruction. Three that to the center. Let's see if she get the lob across to the to the goal shoot. And she shoots and converts. So one more to Trinidad and Tobago. 17 to Trinidad and Tobago. St. Lucia, 7. Center pass, St. Lucia. So it's a penalty pass. St. Lucia. Lucia with the ball for the goal defense. And uh, drums there and intercepts the ball. And so still a call against Trinidad and Tobago on the center for Trinidad and Tobago. Wing defense gives a pass intercepted there by the wing defense of Trinidad and Tobago. Another call there and against uh, Trinidad and Tobago. So the wing defense will have the ball. The wing attack was the one committing the offense. We'll have to stand close to the, the person passing the ball, the wing attack. And uh, now gives and uh, Again, there is a penalty pass awarded there to St. Lucia. Wing attack gives it a hard pass and the goal attack. Uh, there was a penalty, a penalty pass once again. So St. Lucia with the ball and there is another whistle. And this time she will get a penalty pass. She has a, an opportunity to score. And again, this time it will be a free and time out take call there by umpire and she's giving the goalkeeper for Trinidad and Tobago some instructions some warning a serious and, warning and uh, the St. Lucia player there converts so one more to St. Lucia they move on to 18 18 7 I make it 18 to St. Lucia it's into Trinidad and uh, it, it, it is to, to St. Lucia. Penalty pass St. Lucia, you could hear the Lord and Clef from the, the umpire. St. Lucia, a number of bad passes, but as you realize, there's the under-16 non-ball tournament. 
and you expect those type of things to happen. But Carter, I think the St. Lucia team did not do themselves justice at all tonight in terms of their passing. No, I think the agility of the Trinidad and Tobago players really caught up with the St. Lucians. They really haven't kept up. And now the mountain attack for their wing defense. And there is a call for footwork against uh, St. Lucia. The center has the ball and there will be a penalty pass. The center tries a long ball and the tall goal shooter will shoot and will convert. So one more to Trinidad and Tobago. They move one by one to 18 and St. Lucia with the center pass, they are on it. St. Lucia with the center pass. Try to find the wing attack. Lost it in the process. Footwork called by the, the, the umpire. So that's what St. Lucia does. They're passing. They have to develop their passing. Much better pass. Footwork again. And St. Lucia not doing justice at all tonight. Ball belongs to Trinidad and Tobago. Nice pass across to the center. Back across to the goal defender. Ball goes to the center. Let's see what she does. She moves it nicely across to the wing attack. And there's some, some form of counter. Let's see what she does. She lobbed the ball to the... Uh, and she, she actually fumbled that ball into... Out of bong. So St. Lucia the ball again. Passes. Not the best type of passes at all from St. Lucia. The, Goalkeeper for St. Lucia with the ball. Well, it was a penalty pass. And Maya King, the goalkeeper for St. Lucia, once again, another contact there. And the penalty pass awarded to St. Lucia. St. Lucia building up an attack. Gives it to the wing defense, but she cannot move, go into that full of the court. And she has to allow it to go. The goal attack sends another high ball. And they're utilizing that high ball as... Uh, Go shooter shoots misses and uh, what's the call? It's in fact it's a penalty pass and they will a shot will be taken and uh, Trinidad and Tobago will score another goal. They will move on to 19. Then Lucia remains on it. Trinidad in control. The wing attack looking to get that long ball across to this good take there by the goal. Shooter for three that she has all the advantage. Oh, that type of height advantage, Carter. <laughs> using the height advantage and, and converting there for three and to be able. Well, they're using that and lobbing the ball. And she, as you said, using her height and uh, gathering the ball because you still got to catch the ball. And she's doing that quite beautifully so far. Yes, and three that in full control of that game that the ball belongs to St. Lucia. Bad pass. And a number of bad passes there tonight. And Carter, they not doing justice to themselves. St. Lucia. Ball belongs to Trinidad. Across to the center. Center in control for Trinidad. Nice pass across. advantage Carter <laughs> using a height advantage and, and converting there for Trinidad and Tobago well they're using that and lobbing the ball and she as you said using her height and uh, gathering the ball because you still got to catch the ball and she's doing that quite beautifully so far yes and Trinidad in full control of that game that the ball belongs to St. Lucia bad pass and a number of bad passes there tonight and Carter, they not doing justice to themselves. St. Lucia. More belongs to Trinidad. Across to the center. Center in control for Trinidad. Nice pass across to the goal defender. Goal defender to the wing attacker. Wing attack moving very nicely. Trinidad moving that ball very nicely. Penalty pass. You're looking for that lob? Yes, that lob to her. And... Well, that is the strategy. Get the ball, lob the ball, and that the tall goal shooter 
will get the ball and she seems to be able to shoot the ball well accurate shooting by her and uh, having a, a good night tonight the goal shooter for trinidad so this will be a different goal shooter altogether Carter. So lucia streaming the passes around nice pass across the wing attack center for trinidad pick it up that but nice pass to the goal attack. Goal attack will be going to get the lob. Contact on, on the goal shooter. Or three that. St. Lucia ball. In their foot. Nice pass across. Let's see, the, let's see their passing. Nice pass across to the wing defender. Wing defender across to the center. Nice ball across to the wing attack. Moving the ball very slowly to the wing defender, St. Lucia. <laughs> And the wing defender for St. Lucia, the goal defender. Somebody call it for time. Yeah, she does. She passes the ball across. She loses the process. Three that in control the center. Nice pass across to the wing attack. Back to the, the center three. Now let's see the lob as usual. Nice lob. Well taken there by the shooter. She shoots and scores. Some lovely net ball there played by Trinidad and Tobago. St. Lucia making a substitute. They're bringing back Ferdinand in the center. Ferdinand who has been having a good tournament so far. But uh, the score is Trinidad and Tobago 21. St. Lucia 8. Remember that Dominica beat St. Lucia by 23 goals to 8. And uh, so far Trinidad having the better of St. Lucia. Shoots and hits the rim against the rebound. Uh, flicks it back trying to get the goal attack and uh, the ball went out of court for a throw in from the goal line she hands the ball back to Trinidad and Tobago the ball still in plain fact uh, footwork the call there by the umpire and the ball will belong to St. Lucia oh yes a number of footwork in that game Carter and the players not seem to be holding their pivot they, they, they moving too quickly they so St. Lucia in control. Time. Just hold some time. The, the umpire calling for some time. Just we continue at the Windsor Passport Stadium. St. Lucia center every ball to the wing attack. Wing attack in control. Footwork again. Free ball to Sweden and Tobago. Nice pass across to the center. Center of a nice lob. A lovely lob pass there to the goal shooter. She shoots and she misses. The rebound there by St. Lucia. Nice pass across to the wing defender. And the ball goes into touch by the center of Srirad. So out of bong, a in-bong pass there for St. Lucia. We're coming down to the closing moments of the of the fourth quarter. Footwork right on the sideline. Footwork against St. Lucia. Shoot that in control. A lob again. And again. And she shoots and converted. So Trinidad and Tobago now 22. St. Lucia 8. St. Lucia with the center pass. The goal defense calling for the ball and uh, getting it. Ball, in fact, it's a penalty pass against, uh, in fact, for St. Lucia. <laughs> St. Lucia will, they will the penalty pass on the goal attack. The game has come to an end with 